What should we eat for dinner tonight? Oh. Well, my brother told me that Cracker Barrel, the old country store, is good. Have you been? Uh-uh. I think we should try that out tonight. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's do it! No! <laughs> what are we waiting for? We're gonna go, we wanna dress up! Let's do it, let's do it! We are on our way. Yes, we are. And we've dropped the accents. When you get there, you're introduced to a bunch of rocking chairs. Yeah, it very much felt like you were going to your granny's house in the middle of nowhere. Houses like that would always have a front porch and a little rocking chair. So they really like, from the get-go, you get sucked into the Cracker Barrel aesthetic. And then we saw they had chuckles, so we just started playing and Lucas won. <laughs> yeah! Lucas noticed that they had a church bunch. I mean, is this actually a church bunch? Like. Um, That's like a question that I don't actually know the answer to. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a pew. I've always heard about the iconic Cracker Barrel gift store, and right when you walk in, that was the first thing you saw. Wow. And I do gotta say, once we walked into Cracker Barrel, I don't know if I was just making it up. The second you walk in, you get sucked into a country world. Right when we walked in, some girl was talking on the phone and she had a, a thick country accent. And like, no one in Nebraska really has a country accent. You know what I mean? Just walking to the restrooms and like, somebody, I like, they were in front of me and I had to go around them and they said, pardon me, sir. I honestly believe that we were the only actual people there and everyone else was paid actors, if I'm being honest. We were confused though. We were like, oh, so like, we thought we were gonna eat. All it is is a gift store. But then we saw there was like the hostess station. But I did ask her for a booth. Since we were filming the video, we wanted privacy to like act out all these skits and stuff. <laughs> but, but she literally kind of laughed in my face and she was like, listen, we only have one table in the middle of the room. Cracker Bill gets an A plus for theme. They had this candle thing. I'm not even going to try to say what it's called because I have no idea. They have a bunch of mama bilia from the olden days, like five cent ice cream. Yeah, it was like classic Americana meets countryside. And then also I loved how they had the tables and chairs look like they were in someone's country kitchen like those types of chairs and those types of dining tables like there's ones you'd actually have at your house you know it actually felt like you were eating at a grandma's house mm -hmm. it gave the grandparent vibe even further because we did eat at five o'clock so it's kind of on us but i would say 90 percent of the people there were old people yeah and everyone kept thinking what are those two preteen boys doing here i kept we kept telling them oh we're just having fun mom and dad gave us a couple quarters we're gonna eat some supper <laughs> It was a good sized menu. They had everything that you'd expect. Chicken fried chicken, mashed potatoes, uh, uh, other stuff like that. I was so in the mood for this food. So I was so excited. Like thinking of eating country fried steak was just like getting me going. It was, I, this was, I was, I was here at the exact right moment in my life. I was feeling it, but not as much as you. I could tell you were living way more than I was. It reminded me of TV dinner, the restaurant, not because of the food. I want to clarify that. The food did not seem like a TV dinner, but banquet TV dinners, you know how it's all that type of food? Fried chicken, country fried chicken, country fried steak, like, because all the same foods. Yeah, because banquet is Cracker Barrel, but just shitty. Old. They have this game on the table. I think it's called like something solitaire. We didn't know how to play, but then we just used our brains and we understood how to play. Every spot is filled with this little thing. And then you jump each one and you try to jump as many as you can. Seeing how many you have left proves how stupid you are. Like if you only have one left, it's like, oh my God, you are a smart cookie. We had four left and it says leave four or more and you're just plain old ignomus. I don't know Is it like means. ignoramus? I've heard people say that. It's like, I think it's ignoramus. a way of saying ignorant. You're ignoramus. I was happy that if you're eating dinner with someone where it's like, oh, I mean, I'm not really in the mood to dock. You can just play solitaire. Why don't more restaurants have like checkers, playing cards? Like that makes sense because like you're waiting around. Might as well play a little game, you know? Both of us order Diet Cokes and you might be aware that Diet Coke or any soda matter in fact tastes different wherever you get it from. Not even soda actually, like anything. Any mm -hmm. liquid that if you get it in a can versus fountain is different. And or, every like, fountain's different. Yeah. My review of the the Cracker Barrel Diet Coke was, it was perfect. It was the perfect amount of watery. It wasn't too thick. It wasn't too strong. It was honestly just 
It really hit the spot. You could just taste the aspartame rot in your brain, which I loved. I loved it. <sighs> loved, loved, loved it. The waiter came to our table and asked what we wanted. So we ordered our appetizers first because we didn't, we didn't want to order everything at once because we wanted to just enjoy the experience. I know. By the way, the waitress looked like Olivia Rodrigo. Just got to say that. So it was kind of like cool. Whenever she came up to the table, I was kind of starstruck. Right after we ordered, we were like, okay, whatever. And then she came up with this plate of biscuits and cornbread. And she said, while you wait, enjoy these. And I was like, oh my gosh. And as we were there, I noticed that the waiters were so attentive to the customers. And I, I don't know if it's because of this whole old fashioned theme or maybe because there's like an older demographic who goes there who really expects like insane service. But like, it seemed like they really like wanted to make sure you had a great experience. I got to say the cornbread hit the the house down. It was good. I actually only have one bite, but that one bite was good. Oh, it was good. Like, I don't know if these were actually made there, but like it tasted like it was homemade because it was all warm and stuff. Ah. Uh, As you can see, our meals came? Question mark? Yeah, so we probably were waiting for like 20 minutes. I have no problem about waiting, but then oh, yeah. the first oh, thing yeah, that no came problem at all. was our main meals. Lucas got, what'd you get? I got country fried steak. It came with two sides and I was feeling a little bit healthy. So I got broccoli and green beans. I got hand breaded chicken tendals. I know it's basic and it's what a little kid would get, but that's what I am. I got mac and cheese and steak fries. But back to the story. So we were excited when the food came, but also this blood rush hit our faces because we realized, what about the appetizer? Then all this stress came over my body and because I was thinking, I want to eat my food, but now there's an appetizer and usually you eat that before the food comes. Now I have to split my time between my dinner and the appetizer, which isn't even here yet. But then the next thing that happened is we got in a fight with the people working there. Oh yeah, we accidentally got in a fight with uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Another waitress came up and was just being friendly and said, oh, do you guys want anything? Because she handed us off food. Like, do you guys want ketchup, hot sauce? And then I said, I want ketchup. Then like five minutes later, the ketchup didn't come in. I'm not like aggressive. I don't really give a fuck. Like I can eat it without ketchup. <laughs> but but then the Olivia Rodrigo waitress came. Cause the uh, somebody else asked originally if you do want ketchup, but then the, the yeah. our main waiter came. And said, oh, do you guys want anything like ketchup? <laughs> I think me or Lucas, and I think it was Lucas. Oh, yeah, I just said, um, I said, um, I, I, I actually didn't mean it in a mean way, but I just said, oh, we already asked for ketchup. What I meant by that was, oh, somebody else already asked and it's already figured out. That's what I was trying to come from. But then, but then right away after I said that, she made this face like, oh, and then she like sprinted <laughs> off and I was like, oh, crap, I think she thought I was like shading her. Yeah, that's the thing is that when Lucas said that, I wasn't even thinking anything. I was like, oh, we already asked for ketchup, but yeah, like we want it. Yeah. Um, but, but then I realized how, how like shady that sounds. And then it was so funny because she brought the ketchup. And then five minutes later, the girl who originally asked for ketchup came up and she said, you guys, I dropped the ball, didn't I? She said, I'm so sorry. I didn't bring the ketchup. And we were like, oh my God, we do not care. I'm, I promise you. Sorry. I think it was just all a misunderstanding. You know what I mean? So even though we got in a fight with both the waiters, we ended up smoothing it over by being extra nice the rest of the time. Oh yeah. Then they brought out the appetizer and said, we're so sorry. Like it should have came earlier. We apologize. But they, with all appetizers, we got loaded hash brown casserole tots, and then we wanted to try the impossible breakfast sausage. Yeah, but their plant-based option. Before we even get into like the food, we need to talk about the only reason why I ordered the impossible sausage. <laughs> because it was trending on Twitter earlier this week. I guess so many Cracker Bell fans were so mad about the impossible vegan sausage. This is from a viral, viral tweet. This is what some people commented under the Facebook. Don't ever try to push that <laughs> crap in my direction. Stick to the basics that made your franchise a success. Why is veganism now like a thing where like people get so triggered over? I know, because it's like- Why not just let people do what they want? They're acting like <laughs> Cracker Barrel took away all the sausages from the breakfast section and said, you have to get plant-based. Now it's like, they aren't even trying to push it on you. They're just, they just decided through research probably like some people want a plant-based option, so we'll give it to them. They're not trying to push it on you. You can still have your fried bacon. Gonna be okay. So I wanted to know if these people have a right to be pissed and we did try it. And um, I honestly didn't really like it. It just tasted like a bunch of of sausage seasoning. If I was locked in someone's basement and they solved it to me, I would eat it. To me, it just tasted like stuffing. I don't think I'm gonna join the hate chain. I started eating my chicken tendals and they were delightful. I tried the mac and cheese and 
<laughs> just by seeing the mac and cheese, you guys know how it tasted. Me and Lucas both tried it, and we both came to the conclusion that it tastes identical to our elementary school lunch mac and cheese. It's actually good. It just it it's what it's what you expect. How did the chicken tenders compare to raising canes? Um, I would say Raising Cane's are better. Like, the thing about these chicken tenders is that they aren't anything amazing, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I also got steak fries, but I only ate a few because I didn't really like the flavor. I tried my country fried steak. I dipped it in ketchup, and it was so good. I was thoroughly impressed. It was everything I was craving that day. And I loved how it had so much gravy because then I could dip my veggies into the gravy. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally demolished every little bite on the plate and the bowl. I ate everything they gave me. I might be like a Cracker Barrel fan now. And I have also at Texas Roadhouse chicken fried steak and or country fried steak or whatever the F. And I think this might have been better. So then like halfway through eating our meals, we were like, let's try these loaded bacon casserole tots. Why is it called casserole? Like I, I get it. Like I, didn't, I actually don't get it. One casserole? of the best things though is green bean tater tot casserole. So fucking oh. good. So these were just like crazy. They had a ranch on the side and some of them were tater tots. Some of them were like cheese tots. There was bacon on top of them. It very much reminded me of the local county fail food. Mm -hmm. It was good. And I think I would have enjoyed it more if it came before the food. Do you know what I mean? Because then once I already ate my food, I was like, eh. Yeah, I only ate like three or two. Yeah, it was it was cute and fun though. This is the aftermath. And as you can tell, we ate up. We cleared it up. At least I did, Jacob, less than the sides. Yeah, I, I will admit I didn't really yeah, clear it I, up that much. I didn't mean to like put you on blast. The a waiter came up and she said, do you guys want to take a peek at the desserts? And we said, hmm, why don't we? Why, why don't we? What do y'all got? And they had two desserts. I honestly was expecting them to have like 20 peach cobbler Oh, Coke cake? Coca-Cola cake. We ordered peach cobbler and she said one or two. And usually with these places, they give you like a big slice. So I was like, one or two? Like, oh, we just want one. And it was just a little coffee cup of thing, but. Yeah, when it came, I was like, oh, I, I get why she asked for one or two. Yeah, it was good. It was just like a little thing of ice cream, some peach like water around it. What kind of, do you feel like it was a lot like watery? Yeah, if I'm being completely honest, this is what it is like. Those canned Key lime, peach pie, apple pie. I think you can buy these. You just put it in a pie pan. That's what it is. Just canned peach cobbler. Because what I love about cobblers is like when you get like those really crusty parts, Ooh. you know, when it's so good and say, like this weird like crunchy granola bar thing or something, you know? Yeah. But this didn't really have that. It was mostly just water and like little peaches floating, but it was still good nonetheless. It was literally $3.99, so. I ate like two bites. And it came out in like 30 seconds. So I think they just have those ready back there. The mail has concluded, so the waitress handed us our check, and I was about to pull up my card and say, oh, I'll pay for it right now, because like she was going to say, oh, just pay for it whenever. But then she said, you pay at the gift shop, which is also another way to make you buy more shit. I know, then you have to walk through the gift shop, and you haven't paid yet, so it's like, well, since I haven't paid yet, should I throw a few things in before I pay? Yeah, because there's this thing where if it's one purchase, you feel like you're spending less, even if it's the same, even if it's the same amount as two purchases. They also had a QR code option and this whole checkout process really threw me for a loop because I thought the fitting the whole old-fashioned thing they would want to they like I thought the customers would be pissed about this exactly what I thought too but I guess the clientele doesn't care I would guess we did like a little sneak peek around the gift shop and they literally have everything they have poopery they have a bunch of candy they have little kids toys they have clothing birthday and holiday cards be the boop. boop wow Oh, that was good. And we also hit the gift shop. That is true. I got a good bill. Oh! Mmm. That's actually delicious. I got some Diet Dad's Old Fashioned Root Beer. Oh, that was satisfying. Oh, that that's good. Now I can say that I've been to Crackle Bale. It was pleasant. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. We're gonna go now because we're gonna um, drive home. Toodaloo. Bye, have a great rest of your day.